Many spiritual researchers obtain information through meditation pertaining to the nature of God and the relationship of living beings to the infinite. These meditators do not equate the physical universe as being the whole of God, but rather understand it to be only part of the deity. In the beginning, God was all there was, and there was nothing else. God knew he was all there was, but this was not enough, for he was limited to knowing himself conceptually, not in an experiential sense. Yet the experience of himself is that for which he longed. And so God divided himself, becoming, in one glorious moment, that which is this and that which is that. For the first time, this and that existed quite apart from each other. Thus, from the mind of God sprang the over everything, an event entirely consistent, incidentally, with what scientists call the Big Bang Theory. In rendering the universe as a divided version of himself, God produced all that now exists, both seen and unseen. In other words, not only was the physical universe created, but the spiritual universe as well. God's purpose in creating life was for him to know himself. This is the reason God created the physical cosmos to begin with. By dividing, he created sufficient parts of himself that he could know himself experientially. This is God's purpose, that he should become realized through us in an ongoing process of upward evolution. The above-mentioned meditators believe that this is the true relationship of the universe to God. The universe is God's body, and we are tiny parts of God's body, and also tiny parts of the mind of God. As parts of God, we are co-creators with God and responsible for taking an active role in our own personal upward evolution toward a distant spiritual state of perfection.